when I started reading it, it, it struck me that the dog was almost functioning, and I'm not a particularly religious person, but it, the dog was almost functioning like a guardian angel, or like God, uh, that there's this presence in the room that loves you more than you love yourself. And that was probably the thing on the emotional front that really grabbed me. And that coupled with the notion of uh, a father trying to uh, maintain custody of his daughter and the struggles uh, of trying to balance this dream that he's been chasing and also this new thing that he never anticipated when he started on the road toward that dream, which was uh, being the best father he could be. One of the things that drew me most to the challenge of adapting this was that it has this fundamental rule and I became really a stickler about it when other people would suggest scenes I would remind them of this rule which is that we are not privy to anything that Enzo wouldn't be privy to and it is at once uh, a challenge but really a blessing when you're writing a story like this uh, because it forces you to approach scenes in a very unique way you, you realize you have to maximize on these moments and really get a lot of information out in terms of narr narrative and also character development um, but it also uh, makes you step back sometimes and think about the stuff you're not seeing and it's just a very unique way of telling a story. I've never worked on a film like this where it's, it's paced this way. It's funny, I'll look at the dailies sometimes and it's like some scenes are like three lines of dialogue and it's going to be a little Enzo voiceover and then it's a year later or something. Um, it does function like memory because the movie is told from Enzo's recollection of everything that's happened memory moves in this way where you get very very micro in certain moments and then you fly through other moments and some things come into relief that are seemingly unimportant at the time and other massive moments you blow by and, and the reason we're able to do that in this film is that Enzo's only privy to certain moments because he's a dog.